Hey guys, Lazy Fox here. I just wanted to chime in a little bit on, on the situation for drama kind of thing going on with Angry Joe and Kingdom Hearts fans. It's been it's been fun to watch. Let's just say let's say that. Now there's uh, a couple of little things I can agree with. So I'm on this Twitter uh, right now. So if we go scroll down, you know, um, let's see. Um, he's posted up a whole bunch of new things, but. Yeah, I detail my one in with a hardcore Kingdom Hearts community. Uh, so that's one of his latest things. Uh, let's see, because he, he had a whole bod. Uh, yeah, to Kingdom Hearts Brigaders, I give, I give. You all know I'm just playing, right? That gets a me in a bed out of shape. And then, yeah, I realize you're always playing. So basically, um, in a lot of his like, latest videos, he talked about, like, he, he wants to play Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, he wants to come in, he's never played a Kingdom Hearts game, and you have to understand that. He's never played one before, and so... Uh, and he wants to review this new one, because it looks good to him. Now, that's cool. That's cool. He wants to actually review a Kingdom Hearts game, when he's not, like... Uh, he's not usually playing these kinds of games. And so, to have someone like him be interested in it... That's cool. I appreciate that. I like Angel. I'm a huge fan of Angel because he's not someone who's just going to kiss people's asses to get like and give them good reviews and so that like he'll get free game copies and all that kind of stuff, you know. Which they all all tend to do. They all kiss ass. You give a game a low score, people will fucking hate you. People will go after you, and that's just so stupid and so wrong with gaming. How games will constantly get 10 out of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, when they don't deserve it. Like, for example, Zelda Breath of the Wild was a really good game. What's an excellent game? Does it deserve a 10 out of 10? No, because it does have problems. But if you gave it a 9, ooh, people will come after you. And that's just, that's just wrong, because if you don't point out against faults, then no one will, and game companies will keep getting away with that kind of stuff. And so that's why I like Angry Joe, he does point out all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then they have to, you know, he started pretty much trolling the Kingdom Hearts community, and it's pretty funny. Um, there we go. The Kingdom Hearts community is one of the most elitist I've ever seen. I literally have people tell me not to review the game or begrade me with, with how, begrade me and harass me if I don't play all the previous games first. No, you have a thousand other diehard fan reviews for that. Jesus. I get it. The Kingdom Hearts series is literally life important to you. And you're worried I'll shit all over because I won't know what's going on. No, I'm a bit smarter than you give me credit for. But if the game isn't friendly to new players, then I have a right to say so. Now that's where a lot of people have problems. <laughs> and the fact that he's talking like this, it's just like, yeah, you they do, yeah, okay, just, just stop. But, well, that's Angry Joe. He likes to, he likes to be like that. So, but, like, a lot of people are just trying to, at least, like, because a lot of people are being, like, extremely rude. <laughs> like, Kingdom Hearts community is really interesting sometimes. It really is. Um, I fucking love Kingdom Hearts. I love Kingdom Hearts. Really, really do. I got my own Keyblade um, up there somewhere. I'll see if I can grab it. Yeah. Not destroy everything. Ah. Haha, <laughs> got my own little keyblade that I've been meaning to do a video with for ages now, but it's like wooden and I'm so scared of breaking it. So I plan on buying another one at a con coming up. Um, but yeah, I I love Kingdom Hearts and everything, and I'm super excited for Kingdom Hearts 3, super excited. And it's cool to see other people who have never played a Kingdom Hearts game be excited for it. That's cool, and that's what... <laughs> At one point, he says that we should be happy about that. There are new, new people that want to come in and play this game. Now, the problem is Kingdom Hearts is very, very story-based, and even all the games that are like on Game Boy Advance and DS and PSP and 3DS, 
and mobile, they all matter to this overall story. And that, yeah, again, the problem, he's coming in as a new player, basically saying he's not going to play any of the other games, but he will play Kingdom Hearts 3 and will video it. And so a lot of people, because he has so much influence, because he's such a big um, YouTuber and Twitch streamer and all that, and so a lot of people are worried that he's just going to simply give it a bad name or whatnot because he hasn't played the story. And then there's a couple of times where he's mentioned how corny uh, some of the, like, his heart is in my heart and all that kind of stuff. That's in the trailers. And it's like, yeah, it's corny, but if you play the games, you've got a bit more understanding that a heart isn't simply a heart. It has light and darkness in it, and then, like, um... Uh, Wox, Woxus and Venita, Ventus, I is all in his heart, like quite literally. <laughs> um, it's so that's something along the story that you have to sort of understand. He's not just kind of saying it in a sense that he like loves him kind of thing. It's he he literally is in his heart, um, and it's it's weird, but. If you know the story, then you understand. Uh, but I, I do admit, it's still cheesy, but you, you love the cheese. Kingdom Hearts fans love the cheese, and I love the cheese. Um, and then, yeah, he's saying if it's not kind to new players, and he's going to say it. But, yeah, that's the thing. This is the last... This is, like, coming into, like, a trip... Like, if it was, like... I mean, I guess to say if it was just the f three games, right? This is like the third of a trilogy, basically, in a, in a way. And this is like the end of it. This is like the end of a saga that's been going on for a good 14 or whatever so amount of years now. I can't remember. It's been going on, you know, for a good couple, good couple years, over a decade. And, and it's like he's saying if it's not going to be nice to newcomers, and I've got to like say, but it's like... Well, of course it's not really going to be that nice to newcomers. Because it's the last game in the series. Like, who knows what will happen after this. This is meant to be the last one. At least it might be the last one with Sora and so on and so forth. So, I don't feel like it will be nice to newcomers exactly. Um, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. Because there's plenty of games. Like, there's one and. Um, one of his latest things he did was like right at the very top. Uh, yeah, that one. I did. I did watch that video. His little first impressions, and he did mention um, like how you come into like a lot of people came into Witcher Three, for example, and played that, and then wanted to go on and play the others. And it's like, yeah, okay. And then I never played any Dragon Age game. I played Dragon Age Inquisition first. That was my first one. So I didn't know any of the characters. I only knew them because my housemate uh, played all the other games. So, I, so he told me who all the characters were. So that's how I came into Dragon Age Inquisition, for example. And... But the problem is, those games are... They feel different because they're role play games. They're not heav heavy on the story. They are. But I feel like you can still get through them. And just enjoy the gameplay. While I feel like with Kingdom Hearts, you need to know more of the story to get a bit more understanding, especially because of the cheesy lines and all that. And that's all I want Angry Joe to understand is that, yeah, like, it's because it is like the last of a series. Um, but that, like, yeah, that's pretty much just it. <laughs> somehow, somehow Angry Joe, if you're watching this, one, you're awesome, stay awesome, and other Joe, you're even more awesome than me. sorry Joe, <laughs> but we, everyone knows it's true. Anyway, um, if you are somehow watching us, just having a little understanding of that, that it is meant to be like the last of a series, so... It might not be nice to newcomers, but it might be. It might be. I don't know. I don't know. No one really knows. That's also the problem as well. No one really knows what the game will be like. 
if it will like show what happened in the other games. From what I know, it's just going to go straight into it though. That's what I know. That's just what I've heard at least. But who knows? Who knows? It might be nice. Um, I guess my way is because from the trailers, he looks like he has like all these powers already. And so it's like, hmm, you know, how is that going to work gameplay wise? Is that going to be nice to do to people? Like, to new people, then, like, are they all of a sudden going to have all these powers? They're going to be like, what the hell are we doing? Got so much to do, got so many things. It's just, Phew. well, to normal Kingdom Hearts fans, or anyone who played the other Kingdom Hearts games, they'll know exactly what they're doing, pretty much. Um, like, like someone mentioned, a lot of people who are playing the demo didn't know you can press one of the shoulder buttons uh, to go into your... Uh, magic system and just then click one of the other buttons and uh, to fire it off uh, but instead they're like scrolling through the menus p trying to find the right one um, so yeah I I I'm very curious as to what's going to be like that's probably just like in the demo though that you get like all these powers you know they're just showing it off I'm, ho I'm hoping it's just more or less you get um, you know certain powers when you level up you know but I guess we'll find out but yeah, so, this is kind of hilarious, because yeah, Kingdom Hearts fans are just going at them, and being uh, pretty rude for the most part, but part of it I understand, part of it I understand Angry Joe's side of things, because there is like, uh, he just basically wants to come in as a reviewer, and as a new person who enjoys gaming, and wants to play this game. Simple as that. Um, and he's allowed to call it... <clears throat> And he's allowed to call it whatever he wants. He's allowed to call it cheesy. He's allowed to say it sucks and whatnot. That's one person's opinion. One person. As long as she doesn't, like, uh, come out and try to attack everyone for, and say it's bad, it's bad, no one play it, no one play it. Then, yeah, we got every right to let him do this review. I, am, I can't wait to see him review this. I can't wait. I'm sure he'll probably end up giving a low score to the story or something because he doesn't understand it. But then the actual gameplay and such, he might say he might enjoy that. And that's why it really matters in the end, to at least to him and to a lot of, lot of newcomers, is that the gameplay is cool because then the newcomers can go, okay, let's play all the others. And the more people who end up uh, buying Kingdom Hearts 3 and now then going off to buy all the other ones, uh, that's really, really good, because that means there'll be more fans and then uh, more demand for more Kingdom Hearts. And that's what we want. We want more demand. And it's just freaking sun. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I'm really going to do. Uh, uh, that's all I'm really going to say. I just wanted to chime in and say I understand both sides. But I do think both of them need to calm down. Just calm their shits a little. Because it's just a game in the end. It's just a game, guys. Calm your shit. Again, I love the series myself. And I am always happy to see newcomers come into it. Because Kingdom Hearts is awesome. And gaming is awesome. So it's always cool to see new yeah, newcomers. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. That's it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it, a, give it a like and subscribe to our channel because I'll love you if you do. Alright guys, bye for now. Bye.